information now on a gun scare that forced a lockdown of an Iowa Central Community College in Fort Dodge. Fort Dodge police say they arrested these three men. They're looking for a fourth. KCCI's Vanessa Peng just back from Fort Dodge, live in the live link with the details. Stacey, the men have been charged with second degree robbery. And on campus students were talking about what happened, and some say school administration botched the lockdown. The first alert about a campus gun threat was sent two minutes before four Monday afternoon. We were over in the construction building having class, and like three people got the text message. Not everyone got the message, and some people didn't receive it until a half hour later. Some of the students I've talked to didn't get the message. To me, we've got to figure out how do we break that right there. We've got to have the ability to, to get those messages out. A day after a gun scare forces a lockdown at Iowa Central Community College, administration and some students are wondering what went wrong in communication. Students tell me during the lockdown, some of their peers were still walking around outside. Some students say the three texts or emails they received didn't have a clear message. We got, oh hey, we're on lockdown. Okay, okay, you can leave at your discretion, but you still can't go home. And then all clear. Police say the all clear was given at around 6:15. Kirsten Keeney says she didn't receive that alert until nearly seven. The information was definitely confusing. School president Dr. Dan Kinney. Are we going to look at how we do it differently? Yes, we are. Kinney says the alerts were sent out to nearly 9,500 people. Yet there are about 6,000 students. He says former students were still on the list. Kinney also tells us alerts are based on an opt in system. He wants to change that to an opt out system so students will automatically be on the list unless they request to be taken off of it. As for the timing of the alerts, Kinney says his office wanted to make sure they had all the right information in the text before they sent them out. We're going to continue to look at all our protocols and what we do as an institution. But you know what? It's not going to stop after this situation that we had. Other students tell me that school administrators did the right thing and they feel safe on campus. Live in Ames, Vanessa Payne, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.